say. That's right. And now, the next one you gotta listen for. I'm gonna go one, two, three, pick up the pieces. Let's try one. One, two, three. Pick up the I got involved in the blues community and just really found the music um, inspiring for me at that point. Um, just being much more about uh, simplicity in some ways, but you know, emotional delivery and things like tone and dynamics and phrasing and things that are fundamental, and yet we all blow by them every day. Um, and ignore them and go for ripping up speed. Uh, here I go, metal horns. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, we lose focus of those things, whereas in the blues, um, uh, I had teachers, so I mean, I went back to school myself uh, with studying, uh, especially the harmonica, with some current blues harmonica greats. Uh, and it was very, in a, in a great way, humbling. Um, and they absolutely took me back to that, like, play a single note. <laughs> Work on getting the vibrato just right on this note. You know, milk it for everything it's got. And um, I was hooked in a way uh, with that that I hadn't been in a long time um, as a player. Um, and hadn't been that much of an improviser. So that was a whole other thing for me as well. Um, yeah. We're now going to be taking a quick look at the Blues Ensemble's performance of Something Like Olivia by John Mayer, performed at Warp and Weft in Lowell, Massachusetts. Blues music is like the foundation of all contemporary music. There, there's no jazz without blues. There's no pop music without blues. Everything is the blues. And I don't, I really don't think there's a way to argue around that. There's, it's just like rock music is completely based in the blues, you know? And I think, for, I don't know why there's this like hatred for it, but I just think that everyone needs to just relax and just give it give it a real chance and listen to it and really listen to it. like like people like bb king and the way they sing on guitar there's a reason we know that everyone knows bb king and i don't think everyone knows alan holdsworth because bb king just sang and my mom could listen to bb king and love it but if she listened to alan holdsworth she wouldn't have the same opinion that i do about him she would be like well that's cool but uh i don't really know what he's trying to say we all know what bb king is trying to say and i think that's like the beauty of it and that it's it really is something special and it's really something truly American that I think a lot of people just sleep on for some reason. And I think everyone should really try to appreciate this awesome, awesome job. The UML Blues Ensemble also hosts community jams after all of their shows. And as of today, they continue to meet virtually.